Debbie Dashinger here from Dare to Dream Radio and E Television. <laughs> That's pretty bad Spanish, huh? Well, listen, I'll tell you who I am this year. Wonder Woman, for shizzle. How about you? Who are you going to be this year? It's a brand new year. What are you going to do? In fact, anytime you tune in to watch this, it's a new day, a new year, a new start. Who are you going to be? How are you going to show up? And have you written down your targets? It's one of my favorite things to do is just really reflect on what has happened in the past year, all the things I'm grateful for, and all the things that I have actually accomplished, meaningful events that have taken place. And it's amazing when you start discussing them, when you realize it's been an incredibly rich, moving year. It's so important to take that respite and acknowledge who you've been, where you've been, what has occurred. And then it's time. It's time for you to decide. Everything starts with a choice and a decision. What are you going to be from this day forward? What is it that you're going to create? What targets do you have on your map? You see, we map out our lives. Okay, things happen often that are unexpected. Yeah, but don't worry. Still, when you create a map, you have a tendency to get there, and isn't that good? So, what is your dominant desire? And whatever that is, write that down. I wrote mine down, and I also put a really awesome post-it because it's yellow and it's obvious. I have huge mirrors in my bathroom. So on one of the mirrors where I tend to look every single day, it has that list. You know, I've created so much in my life, frankly, that it's not a lot of what it used to be. It's become really, like, rich and succinct and yummy. And it's just a few things, but they're really important things. If I stopped creating, I would probably die. So we're creating anyway. We can create out of absence, right? With no map, no, dis no real intention. Or we can really make choices and decisions and then just go create it and live it and experience it. So what are your dominant thoughts? What are your dominant desires? Think about that. And, you know, I'm in it's impossible for me to see without glasses, so... <laughs> Write it down, write it down, write it down. And whatever isn't serving you, make a commitment, commitment. Release, release, release. If it ain't working, adios. You know, I even did that with a person, a person I was hanging on to for so long in my space who made me bananas. Listen, life is short. Life is fast. I choose to be surrounded by people I freaking love and I adore being with. I can be safe with. I can have conversations with. I can be deep with. I can laugh my <clears throat> off with, you know, and all of the above who like maybe even operate a little higher than me. So it's always pulling me up energetically, vibrationally to an even better, better, better space. So listen, quality is what it's all about. If someone, something isn't working for you, it's time. Be bold, right? Otherwise, it's like barnacles and it sucks energy. So plan your day, plan your year. What three things do you desire the most? Write them down. Make this important to you. Make this important to, to take steps to. I don't know if you're like me. I could look. I'm constantly like, I'm a real creator, so it's constant for me. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do this. It's much bigger than the flashy gold thing. It really is. I can invest myself in things. When I know what my targets are, it helps me pull out anything that potentially takes me off the path, and it helps me remember, ah, oh, okay. It's about this and this and this. So what's important to me this year? Animals. Animals are super important to me this year. And I haven't had one in a few years because when mine pass away, I grieve so big. Oh, it's such a tremendous loss to me to lose a best friend like that, a family member, a beyond the beyond. How do you describe that? It takes me years to be willing to open the space again. But I really have this huge space to support animals on every level and to have again in my life. And that also means traveling to see animals, like animals in other countries I would not normally see, which leads me to an, the next target for me is travel, world travel, country, within country travel. I am really very desirous of creating travel. 
health wealth big time i want to really have tremendous peace with my body and connection to body what do you want body what do you desire to eat blessing my